I've heard several people describe 2020 as a perfect storm and I'd have to agree. That's a perfect storm brewing in a cup of anxiety where the source of our woes isn't difficult to see and people are leaves feeling all strained and squeezed. It certainly feels like the elements combined and conspired to create a perfect storm of biblical proportions, the centre of which can be represented by an oft-quoted equestrian quartet. That fearsome four horsemen of the Apoca lips are no longer sealed. For some, their hooves' ominous rumble wasn't enough for the truth to be revealed. It wasn't until the decibels became deafening and shit really got real that the populace started to sit up. Yet still, it will take the stubborn to be stampeded by those stallions before they really know the deal. Now, their respective designations do vary from account to account, but as far as I know, those 16 hooves belong to war, famine, pestilence and death. So let's check. With war, it's business as usual, so it seems. Britain and America still provide a steady supply of weapons to oppressive regimes, helping to render people such as the Palestinians and Yemenis perpetually bereft of peace, the full extent of which we never see on our teddy screens. With that in mind, you'd be forgiven for thinking that war's been a little quiet of late. It's as though we've had much more on our plates. Which neatly segues to our next four-legged friend and their rider now. Famine tried it and the sight of overexcited shoppers panic buying might have had his eyes widening with the light, but that seemed to be the extent of his hijinks, or at least from this biased, westernised perspective of mine, and besides it wouldn't have even been on our minds if it weren't for Pestilence, who's clearly been working overtime and stole the shine, but you can't fault his unfading focus and grind. This season he's certainly been keeping death on his toes or hot on his heels, always lagging not too far behind their hellish hoof prints stretching far and wide. Together this duo packed quite the appetite. Politicians perfectly playing us for the ass in this pandemically pandemonious pantomime. Yes, it certainly feels like the elements combined and conspired to create a perfect storm of biblical proportions and dead in the centre once again was a more literal sort of horseman in the form of law enforcement, charging at those standing up for rights and chanting Black Lives Matter. We've all seen the video of the officer getting literally knocked off their high horse and toppled by a traffic light. Did it ever occur to you that it might have been an act of resistance by the horse itself? Sick and tired of constantly being dragged into their fight. They say you should never look a gift horse in the mouth, but every now and then it's worth looking in their eyes. Horseshoes don't always spell good fortune, but when you hear their rumble, you have to acknowledge their might.